I literally went through more than 217 Power BI DAX functions and found out that these are the top 10 Power BI DAX functions. In my past videos, I have talked about Power BI, I have talked about Power BI DAX functions and there are many, many videos about Power BI on my channel. All the links will be in the description in case this topic is new to you. Please go through that video to understand more about Power BI, understand more about DAX functions and jump into this video. So in this video, we shall be focusing on the top 10 Power BI DAX functions that you need to focus before going for your next interview. See you in the video. Before getting into this video, just a disclaimer that I'm not going to explain each and every DAX function that I'm going to tell as part of this video. I'm just going to name the DAX functions. In case you want to learn how these DAX functions work, please check out the links in the description where everything is explained in a very crystal way. In case you still have any doubts, you can always reach out to me on LinkedIn or in the comment section. I keep an eye on each and every comment. So let's get into this video. Most important DAX function is going to be basics. Now, most of you might be thinking basic functions. Are you serious? Yes. Basic functions are also very, very important. I know most of you already know about some average, minimum, maximum, all these DAX functions, but these are needed because interviews always ask easy questions and then they increase the difficulty level based on what you know and how you're answering. They will, they will directly not be able to answer, uh, ask you some difficult questions. So they always start from the basics. So basics are very, very needed. The second most important is going to be calculate. Now calculate is a very, very important DAX functions because it's a very commonly used DAX function. You want to create the total salary of males, you use calculate. You need to create the total salary of females, you can use calculate. You need to find the average age or in a particular location, you will definitely need calculate. So calculate command is very, very important. How to use it? Check out the link in the description. The third important DAX function is going to be filter. Now filter acts as a filter. If you are aware of SQL, where we use the where clause, select star from table name where age is greater than 50. That means you're filtering out all those candidates whose age is more than 50. Exactly same. We also do in Power BI using the filter command. You can always call calculate without filter. By default, if you call calculate and then sum of something comma, and then you give gender equals to equals to male, that also acts as a filter. Explicitly also, you can pass the filter function. The fourth most important is going to be count and count rows. Now, everybody knows count and count rows are very, very basic functions, but they are also required. The fifth most important DAX function is going to be related. Now related and related table. These are the two DAX functions that you need to master, you need to know. Because sometimes you might work on two different tables who are you know, not having some relationships in Power BI. So related function basically is used to return a related value from another table. The next important DAX function is going to be switch. Now what is switch? Switch is very common. We have been using switch functions in programming and switch is also there in Power BI. Switch basically means switch cases. That means if you are implementing a case like this, if this, then do this, else if, do this, else if, do this. That if else blocks can be replicated and can be created a switch case. Switch cases are those kind of functions which are used to evaluate an expression against a list of values and return one of multiple possible result expressions. The next important thing is going to be X functions. Now, X functions are wide. There are multiple X functions, sum X, average X, min X, max X. Well, if you know one of them, you will potentially understand the value of it. So what is the difference between sum and sum X? Please go through the video in the description. Everything has been explained in a very proper way. And then you will, once you go through them, once you practice them, you will definitely be able to answer that in the interviews. And this is one of the most important questions. Even I ask this, one of my most important question is X functions. 
and time intelligence functions because these are the two areas where I try to see whether the candidate has knowledge or not. The next most important DAX function, the eighth one is going to be time intelligence functions. Well, I could have separated the different time intelligence functions like total YD, YD to be a separate function, total MTD to be a separate, but I just wanted to combine it. So the number eight will be time intelligence functions where you should focus on total YTD, total QTD and total MTD. Very, very important functions. Now usage and all everything is already there in the videos. I'm not going to discuss each and every DAX function in this video. We will be focusing more on the top 10 ones. In case you think that there are some top 10 there are some important functions that i have missed in this video you feel that they are important let me know in the comment section and i will tell you whether they're actually important or not whether they are being asked in in interviews or not number nine if else blocks if else blocks are very basic concepts let's say you want to create a derived matrix let's say you have a column like age you want to create age bins Obviously, you can use conditional formatting and then create a new column, which is fine using Power Query Editor. But you can also create age bins using if else blocks. How to study that is already there in the description. Last and not the least, we have top end function, which is also a very, very important function. So these are the top 10 uh, DAX functions that I feel you should learn at least these. Now, there are a bunch of like more than 200, 220 DAX functions available in the market right now, available inside Power BI. Uh, exactly how many are there, it's unknown, but there are more than 200 for sure. I have also built a simple PDF document uh, considering some of the important DAX functions that I will also leave as part of this video. Please go ahead and watch out that PDF document as well. Now. In this video, we already discussed about the top 10, but if you see, there are more than 25, 30 that I have already told you that these are important, like basic functions, some average, mean, max, these are already four, count, count rows, six, uh, calculate filter, eight, and then in time intelligence, total YTD, MTD, QTD, 11. So we, I have already told you more than 25 or 30 DAX functions that are most important. Please, please go through these DAX functions before your next Power BI or Data Analytics interview. In case you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. That's all about this. Next video is going to be a project video. Stay tuned. See you.